Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and this time it's a travel vlog. I have been publishing a lot of cooking and home vlogs for some time and I badly wanted a change. You all might know from my previous vlog about the destination where I'm going. It's Baku, that's in Azerbaijan. So hope you enjoy this video. Keep watching. I wanted to publish my previous vlog on the day of travel and obviously because it's a travel preparation. So the whole night I was editing after packing and you can see the time now. To be frank, I didn't sleep, which is really tiring if you're traveling. I don't recommend this at all, but I had no other choice. I didn't want to carry my laptop while traveling. Though this travel is a part of my work and with tons of excitement, I didn't want any extra work to come in between. So had to publish it before leaving. This travel was completely organized by Milan Holidays with whom we normally love to book our trips. They do have tours within India and even international trips to various destinations. They have group trips or otherwise. If you love traveling with no hustle, you must contact them and their service is excellent. You may check out their Insta page for reviews from customers, their next travel destinations and many more. You may find all details in my description box. I had once experienced leaving my family for a break and I guess you might have seen it. It was to Switzerland with my sister-in-law. That had actually brought a total change in my mindset. Not for all but some might have a feeling that traveling is just a waste of money or our carelessness towards our family, especially women when they travel alone leaving kids behind with husband or parents. There will be eyes rolling at you, faces frowning and back bites. But these are totally ignored if you realize that you need a personal space which is really important to keep your family happy and healthy. My husband is always my backbone and my kids are my support system. They know the house is happy when mom is happy. And I know that I'll be more contented when I take a break from the chaos of family life which is sometimes a bit more of pressure and stress. And I'm very fortunate to get my space from them when I need it. Anyways, back to the journey. I know my announcement was on a very short notice that many of you missed it and you couldn't join. But I promise next time I will definitely announce a bit more early so that you can easily plan and execute. Nevertheless, I was very happy that there were ladies for the trip after my announcement. Four from Muscat and two from Dubai. Our flight was fly Dubai, flying from Muscat to Dubai, then to Baku. We reached Baku noon time and rest of the team had already checked in as they reached before us. We had our food that was parceled and it was really delicious. And this Femina, Femi is my co-sister, my brother-in-law's wife. On the first day, we had a city tour. 
So we got out even before the time they had asked us to come out to the lobby. We took a walk and took pictures. We had a local English speaking guide with us and her name is Sabina. Okay friends, my group. Yeah, we're going to do. Let's take photos, group photo, individual photos. We are going to straight, straight visit panoramic view of Baku city. In front of us flame towers. As I said, construction start 2007, done in 2013. Parliament, national parliament, 125 deputies very friendly person and she has got good knowledge about her country and of course that's why she's here working as a tour guide Azerbaijan was one of the countries. We were cooperating to Soviet Union, 14 countries, also we were including there. Starting from 1920 years till 1991. Friends, and this way it takes us to the panoramic view of Baku city. Panoramic view. Panoramic view. This is the Martes Lane or the Alley of Martes. In the Russian Civil War, many people were killed in the fighting and it was a dark incident in the history of Azerbaijan. It was in this lane that they were killed. These were the civilians and they all were buried here. We could get a beautiful panoramic view of the city from here. I could see most of the building here getting a shape of fire. And this is the famous flame towers of Azerbaijan with reference to the nickname of the country, the land of fires. Similarly, few others I could see in the flame shape. Anyways, we spent some good time, though we all were a bit tired of the travel from home to this destination. This is Bobina from Kerala residing in Baku who had messaged me earlier if we could meet. It was a pleasure meeting someone from your homeland in another country. It was so lovely for her to come and meet us. So happy to spend some time with her. Fortunately or unfortunately, we had our fitness trainer Abin with us. We didn't expect him to be at the gym there. We just went for a run and he made us do whole body workout. Anyways, felt really good after burning some calories to be active and confident on this trip. <coughs> Next day, we had to check out as we are leaving to Gabala, which was a 3 hours journey. As I said, our way is going to take about three and a half hours to 20 kilometers has distance. Half petrol, you want this premium, but a couple of months ago it was about... We are active in the world, we are in GCC countries and all the energy. The American soldiers are trained in the train, and we are going to train in the train, and we are going to train in the train, and we are going to train in the train. If anyone who had kept this group come closer, it was Abin. He kept everyone energetic and it began with self-introduction. Whoever had never held a mic in their hands were given that opportunity without fail. And it was so much fun with more activities. Later, there were many who became very active and very friendly. The group was lively and three hours unknowingly went really quick and smooth without getting lagged. 
On the way, we explored the Juma Mosque in the city of Shamaki. This is one of the oldest mosques in Azerbaijan. The fascinating part about this mosque is that throughout history, this mosque was damaged and reconstructed several times. It's also one of the largest mosques in Azerbaijan. We had our lunch from an Indian restaurant named Malabar. We had rice, chicken curry, fish dal curry and veg kurma. After having lunch, we had black tea and tulumba, that's the Arabic sweet dish which looked like churros. After lunch, we visited Tufan Dag mountain. Here's a cable car ride and must say, it was truly an amazing ride. The weather in Gabala is a bit more chilling than in Baku. It was announced prior to this trip, so we all wore heavy jackets to keep ourselves warm from the cold weather. Now this cable car ride is a highlight of Kabbalah. The location was too beautiful, especially because it was fall season. The leaves were in bright yellow orangish colors. The magical view from cable car is a must sight to the eyes. There are tall mountains covered in green in summer, white in winter, and for us, it's now fall. There's a ski resort in this area. If you love skiing, you can definitely book a stay there. It will be a wonderful experience. The pictures clicked were amazing and we all didn't want to leave the place. I couldn't get enough of taking videos and photographs. You might have seen my reels on Instagram as well. 
I guess years when everyone came close to each other, click pictures for each other, jokes and laughs. It was really amazing to have such a lovely group of people mingling with each other. It's travel that broadens our thoughts and we realize our problems are so tiny that we have much better things to do in life. Positive minds hit the negatives in our life and that makes us refreshing and relaxing after a trip. After spending some time on top of the Tofandag mountain, we went straight to Gabala Garden Hotel where we'll be staying for a night. This is a five-star hotel and a very beautiful one. We checked in, kept our bags and got out for dinner. We were anyway tired after this, straight went to the hotel and then we had a good night's sleep. So that's all for today's travel vlog. The later part will be included in my next video. Stay tuned for it as there are more amazing facts coming up. So see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.